In this video, I will show you how to install NLTK in your Jupyter Notebook and how you can use it to create a new project. So first, let's create a new folder and if you already have a project folder, no need to create this. I'll write NLTK project and I will go inside this folder. If you have a folder, you can go inside that folder. Now, we need to create a virtual environment. So hold shift and right click. Click on open PowerShell window here. If you don't see this option, you can click on open command prompt here. Now, we just need to type Python MVENV -E and name anything that you want to name your virtual environment. I'll write my VENV. -E it will take a minute. And if I put it down here and reload this folder, as you can see, my VENV -E is created. So now this is a very important step. We need to activate this virtual environment. To do that, just type whatever name you had given to your virtual environment, then hit enter, then type SC, hit, sorry, not enter, tab. Enter tab again and write activate or write ACT and hit tab again. Now hit enter. Tab will auto complete these things. Now your virtual environment is activated. Now you need to install NLTK. So to do that, just type pip install NLTK. So now as you can see, NLTK is created. Now we need to create a kernel for our Jupyter Notebook so that this can be used in Jupyter Notebook. So to do that, first we need to install IPY kernel. All right. And after it is installed, we will set up IPY kernel so that it can be used in our Jupyter Notebook. Once IPY kernel is installed, type this command so that we can set it up for use in Jupyter Notebook. And now give any name to your kernel. I'll write NLTK underscore kernel. Hit enter and now your kernel will be ready. So as you can see, console kernel is ready. Now you can open your Jupyter Notebook. Let's click on this new now and as you can see our new NLTK kernel is available with NLTK installed. Click on that and your new notebook will open. And now let's write a sample NLTK code and let's see if it runs or not. So I have the sample NLTK code. Hit control enter to run this. And now as you can see our words are tokenized. That means we can use NLTK but there seems to be some error in these lines here. So I will fix that error later. Anyway, NLTK is installed and now you can use NLTK to tokenize words and do whatever you want with it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.